All right, how you guys doing today? For this lesson, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to multiply matrices using the TI-84 graphing calculator. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you have the latest operating system in your calculator. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and do second and then the plus key. Now, the very first thing there is about, you want to hit enter. Now, I'm using version 2.55, which you can see right there on the screen. If yours is lower than that, then you're going to need to upgrade. To upgrade, just go to education.ti.com and follow the instructions for upgrading your operating system. If you're not sure, just go ahead and ask your teacher. Now we're going to look at two key questions. The first is matrix multiplication commutative, which means does AB equal BA? The second key question we're going to take a look at is, is the distributive property valid for matrices? Which means, does A times the quantity B minus C, is that the same thing as AB minus BC? So those are going to be the two key questions we're going to look at. So first thing I have to do is show you guys how to put a matrix into your calculator. Now what we're going to take a look at is, given matrix A and matrix B, find the following products. So we're going to try and take a look at, does AB equal BA? We're going to use these matrices and I'm going to show you how to enter them into your calculator. So on your TI-84 graphing calculator, the first thing you're going to do to put in matrix A is go to the matrix button, which is located right here above the X negative 1 key. So hit second and then matrix. Arrow over to edit. And then the dimensions of matrix A will be the first thing that you'll put in. So this is a 2 and then you have to hit enter and then it moves to the next one. So we've got a two by two matrix. From there, you just go ahead and enter the numbers. All right, so when you input that matrix, just take your time, make sure, because a lot of people mess up on a negative sign or they'll type a number in wrong. So make sure that you take your time and you do that correctly. Now, when you want to input matrix B, you're going to kind of follow the same process. You're going to go to second, down to the X negative one key, arrow over to edit, and this time, move down to number two, which is matrix B. Hit enter, and then correctly enter matrix B. When you're all done with that, go ahead and go back to your home screen. So you're gonna go second and then mood. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do to type in a, matrix A times matrix B, you're gonna to go to the second and then matrix menu. You're just gonna call it matrix A. So you're gonna have A and then use the times key and you're going to multiply that by matrix B, so you got to name that. So just go ahead, arrow down, pull up matrix B, and when you multiply those, just hit enter. Shazam! Calculator does it for you. Thank you very much, TI, you rock. Now I want to check and see if that is true for matrix B times matrix A. So we're checking to see if the commutative property holds. So again, this time I have to second matrix, going down to B, hit enter, and then I hit my time key, my multiplication key, second matrix, and then I'm right on A, so all I have to do is hit enter. And now let's compare these two. Are my answers the same thing? Well, anybody can see that. They're not. So let's go back to our key question. Is, does the commutative property hold for matrix multiplication? And the answer is no. Now let's take a look at key question number two. We want to know, is this the distributive property valid for matrices? Which means does A times quantity B minus C equal AB minus BC? Now to do that, we're going to take a look at the following three matrices, A, B, and C. So go ahead and hit pause while you go ahead and enter those matrices into your calculator. When you're done, go ahead and do part A where it says A times the quantity B minus C and let's check our result for that. So go ahead and hit pause now and when you're done come on back and let's see what numbers you got for that. Now here's something I want you to pay attention to. If you put your matrices in like this and you hit enter something is gonna happen. You're gonna get this invalid dim message. Now what that's telling you is that you the dimensions aren't right and it's just a calculator screaming at you a little bit saying no nah, man you can't do that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to it but you ha you can't just have matrix A and then the parentheses right there you've gotta make sure that you include 
the times symbol. So make sure you put times in between there. And then when you hit enter, boom, you get an answer. So just make sure that you do that. That's a technical piece for your TI-84 graphing calculator. So we've got that done, and hopefully that's what you got as your answer. Now we're going to do the same thing for the next piece. And when we go ahead and do AB minus AC, let's see what we get for that. So keying that in, check it out we get the exact same three. So, is the distributive property valid for matrices? Yeah, that's true. So hopefully you know you've gotten three things out of this video. The first thing, now you know how to put a matrix in your calculator. The second thing, you know that matrix multiplication is not commutative. And the third thing is that the distributive property is valid for matrices. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Peace out. I'll see you later.